Thanks to Samsung for sponsoring this video. Check out all the new features on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G powered by AT&T 5G. Out now, including the ultimate gaming experience, super fast charging, hyper fast processor, and more. Guess who? Hard mode. All right, welcome back to Guess Who, uh, the game where we have swapped out everybody from the regular Guess Who, and we've filled it with our friends and coworkers. and the questions cannot be about physical appearances. They have to be about personality or life choices. That's hard <laughs> mode. It's hard mode. Blaine, the way that we, the, the really hi-fi way we've determined now how to pick which person, <laughs> since I've lost the link to the randomizer I made, is that I'm just going to close my eyes and point to the screen, and I'm going to pick somebody, and then I'm going to I'm going to slack you who our person is, okay? Okay. Chris, Chris, I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to text you. Okay. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. Okay, I got it. And also, we should say this at the top, we're going to play a couple rounds of this, but the uh, first round is going to go on YouTube, so if you're watching this YouTube, you get to watch a full round with us playing it. We're going to play another bonus round, we're going to put it up on roosty.com, um, and you can watch it there. Uh, link will be in the description. Um, if you just if you like this and want to see some more, little extended footage for you right there. And it's free. You don't free. have to sign up even for an account. It's free. Go for it, Barbara and Chris. All right. Would this person fart in public for comedy. Wait, wait. Um, can 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 you can you clarify what you mean, like, uh, for a bit, or because they think farting in public is funny, and they would just think, ah, that's funny. Yeah. I farted. Someone who just thinks farting in public is funny, and they're not ashamed about farting and like owning it. I, John, personally, would think that this person is of a higher caliber. Yeah. Let's uh, let's say let's say no. They they'd be they'd be more polite than that. Well, let's absolutely, rules out Blaine. Shit. <laughs> I'll just put the whole thing on. The whole thing on Blaine. Uh, I'm gonna start covering up some people. I think I think Jeff would. Uh huh. I think John would. I know John would because he's done it and he doesn't have to suffer the consequences. <laughs> it's a funny noise to me. Chris, I think you would. Yeah, in the right company. Have you and Trevor heard each other fart? Oh, like multiple times an hour. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't call it fart. We call it whack. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard a girlfriend fart. No, really, but you've dated people for periods of like long periods of time. I know. You'd think I would have heard someone fart by now. Have you not heard Kelly fart? Not at all. I farted during sex. And that is just one of a <laughs> million reasons I would never want to have sex with you. I'm glad. I'm glad we have to find reasons. All right, you done? I think so, Chris. What do you feel? I think about that's this? okay. I I feel fairly good about that. Would you be confident in letting this person pick an article of clothing for you to wear? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. I mean, all these people. Okay, I wouldn't pick Chris. No to Chris. Sorry, we're going going out of order. No to Matt. Matt. I'm gonna put a maybe on Gus because Gus is actually quite uh, fashionable. I think no on Chad. What do you think? It'd probably be some T-shirt with like from like BlizzCon 2008. <laughs> I'm gonna say Jack's a maybe for me. Gavin, no, it'd probably be an Achievement Hunter shirt. Not that there's anything wrong with those. Available now at the Roosty store. No, don't buy your Achievement Hunter shirts. Buy a Roosty shirt. Beacon Claw, available now at the Roosty store. Show us, Blaine. I think we plugged the Roosty store the last time we did this show. <laughs> Hail Clayton, available now at the Roosty store. We gotta store. make that cash money, bros. So Barbara can buy hey, her Ritz crackers. These beans ain't free. I think that's all the people that I'm super confident in. All right, would your person be uncomfortable in a strip club. They seem worldly, I, I, so I don't I know. I lean to no. I would, would lean not to be no. Uncomfortable. Not I be uncomfortable. Be. Okay, so I'm gonna say Ryan would be. I, would Ryan? I think he would be uncomfortable in a strip I club, think, yeah. I think so too. I've heard his like, uh, yeah. <laughs> I go back and forth on Drew. Uh, I don't think he'd be uncomfortable. I feel like I should cover Trevor because I feel like you guys would have been hesitant to say he would be comfortable knowing that he's dating me, even though I wouldn't care if Trevor went to a strip club. See them titties, boy, get it, but I'm still gonna cover him. I just won't tell you about that one time me and Trevor hung out. But, okay. <laughs> the one it? time you and Trevor hung out was a strip club? <laughs> <laughs> it was a business meeting. We were meeting for lunch. They had free steak. Jack, I know, would be fine. Uh, I would be fine. I think Adam Jack's would the be one fine. that you're just like, nah, Jack goes to them all the time. I know he has been to strip clubs before. He has talked openly about that. I feel like um, I've been to a strip club with Jack, maybe. I've never. You've never gone to a strip club? Nope. Oh, we should go when things are safe again. Houston. Texas has a drive through strip club, I believe. No, but it sucks now because all the strippers are in hazmat suits. Can't even see what they're doing. 
They just have like little nipple holes that they just like. Cut out. No, they're they're clear plastic film over. <laughs> but they're just sweating and it's fo fogging up. They do fully nude, but you still have to wear you have to wear a mask on your face and on your. The JJ. Alfredo, I feel like I I think he'd be comfortable in one. Yeah, I think so. Lindsay. Lindsay, I, I think she... would. I think Lindsay's like so go with the flow, like yeah, whatever. I, I think I feel she'd the be same. chill with it. She'd be cool. She'd go with it. Lindsay would ask if she could do a uh, a show on the stage, not a strip <laughs> show. She would just ask if she could do like a dance number just to her favorite song. And then like everyone else, I feel kind of like so so on. Like I feel like Fiona for sure. Jessica, I think would be like, oh, this is fun, like a little activity. <laughs> that is totally how Jessica would sound in a strip club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. I could already. I see her going, Barb. <laughs> this is but so then, funny. Doing that while she's putting a single in one of the girls' uh, string bikinis. All right, wrap it up. All, All right. right, I think we're good. I'm out to eat lunch with this person, and we go to a restaurant for some reason that only has two things on the menu. One is a, a half pounder cheeseburger with bacon, and then the other thing is a chicken salad. Would they go for the cheeseburger? Would they go cheeseburger? I feel like no, they wouldn't go cheeseburger. Yeah, I think no. Folks that would go for burger, Fredo. Elise immediately. Jackson for sure. I think Jeremy would be down to fucks with a burger. Mariel might be down to fuck with a burger. You wouldn't. No. <laughs> John, you said that sadly. <laughs> no. Is, it, does no. this scenario happen on a Sunday? Can it happen on a Sunday? If it happens <laughs> on a Sunday, I'm getting that burger. Uh, that's good, that's good. All right, your guys' question. If we were in the Hunger Games with everyone here. <laughs> would this be someone that you would be afraid that they would immediately try and kill you? Or someone that you would want to immediately try to kill? Immediate threat? Yes. This person would want to try and kill you. You'd be like, I don't trust this person at all. They're going to try and kill me. So wait, what's the question? I mean, isn't everyone trying to kill you in the Hunger Games? Yeah. yeah right. In the Hunger Games, there's like people who you can form alliances with, and there's people who are like, not. Nah, they're just okay, gonna go. Okay. Then for can you. I rephrase your question and say, yeah. is this person someone yeah. who is an immediate uh, aggro or someone who would go for alliances? Yes, in the Hunger Games, to die. I want to say alliance. I would say they would ally. Yeah, ally. So, who would kill us? Who'd go full aggro? Is who you're covering? I feel like Fiona. <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> Mariel would try and kill. Yeah, she's got them swords. Jack? I think Jack I would make alliances. He might make alliances. He's too He's too cunning. Gus, I think, would make alliances. But then, Gus also would turn on you when you least expect it. Jessica would definitely try to make alliances. Would James kill? I think so. I think I'd be pretty afraid of him. What about Chad? I think he would just get killed. All right, slowly picking away. Just like the Hunger Games. Just like the Hunger Games. John? While I'm trying to think of a good question to split the board, hey, Chris and Blaine, can you tell us a little bit about this uh, adventure you're having with the sponsor for this episode, please? Well, thank you, John. Uh, did you know that me and Blaine are going back to school at Full Sail University? Are they going to teach you how to use grammar properly and say Blaine and I? Nope, they're going to teach us how to use 3D modeling technology software. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna be me and Chris versus James and Elise in a competition to see who can make the best uh, statue 3D person. We're doing Ruby uh, oh. aesthetics and camp camp aesthetics. That's right. And they've taken us back to school. In fact, I'm gonna show you <gasps> some a little preview of my skills. Damn, dude! No, that's I didn't I I didn't make that. Oh. I'm just gonna make some alterations to this person. I there thought we go. you made that. <laughs> I was gonna be like, damn, dude, you learned a lot. We're learning how to in class. Yeah, this is just a hint of some of the skills that I have. Are you are your eyes blown? <laughs> Look at that. That could be a D and D character. Yeah, open your ears to learn about all the amazing things at Full Sail University. And expand That's your mind. Expand your mind. Or you know what you should have? You should. Have a child of knowledge. Also not a phrase. Will they teach you proper nomenclature at uh, Full Sail as well? Uh, yes, you learn. Oh, actually, we are, me, and, me and Blaine are learning some really cool uh, stuff, and we're going to make... Um, <laughs> We're gonna make the next Ruby. Oh God, I'm We've so sorry, Ruby. We, you had a good run, Ruby. We're gonna have we're gonna have Ruby, Blank, <laughs> Wiz, and Yong. <laughs> <laughs> look at his look. This little boy, his his eyes. He's like, tell me more. So Full Sail has an awesome program, and they some of their alumni have gone on to make award-winning things like Toy Story 4 and Avengers Endgame. 
and uh, Doom Eternal, one of my personal favorites. And look at this, I think I'm ready to join their ranks. This could be a Toy Story character. So we've been going back to school for a while now. Some of these videos are already out. You can watch them here on the Rooster Teeth channel or on the Funhouse channel. Uh, and if you want to find out more about these 3D animation programs and how to get started, visit fullcell.edu slash back to school. Come play with us and learn forever cool and stuff. ever. Forever and ever. Actually, they, <laughs> their, their programs are expedited to get you working faster. I look forward to your straight A's. We're going to get them. Let me tell you, we're. I'm smiling. I'm so excited. Now that uh, you've learned about us schooling, why don't... Uh, me and Barbara continue to school you. Okay, I got a question. Has uh, okay, is this person someone who likes to color their hair? Yes. Mm -hmm. That leaves us with Lindsay, Fiona, you, Trevor, and Barbara. I'm confident with that. I like that. Let's go. Good question, John. If you made a joke that wasn't funny, would this person still laugh at it? I'd say yes. I yes. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to cover Gus. Gus wants you to sit in your shame. I think, I think I'm going to cover Jack. Okay, put him, maybe put it in the corner. Put it in his, like, beard. I'm going to put a corner on Fredo as well. James's picture above all the other ones looks at you. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> like, <gasps> move your board anywhere and he follows you. It's really not cool. All right, uh, Blaine, what you got? What you got? You're going to okay. rattle the board. This person, let's imagine that they are single and they see someone that they are attracted to at a bar, do they go up and confidently initiate conversation? This is tough. I think it depends. I think they would I go think initiate. So. Yeah. I feel like Fiona would absolutely go like immediately, which kind of gives me pause because like they weren't super confident. I think Barbara knows how I am at bars. And yeah. knows that that I'm you don't go to them. I don't go to them and I and whenever <laughs> I've gone to bars I don't pick up people Barbara has I know she has yeah uh, Trevor seems like someone who could pull if he wants to pull I'm gonna go a uh, maybe on Lindsay and that's put and maybe on Trevor maybe on Trevor go losers if you were in an escape room mm -hmm. with this person would they be take charge and uh, uh, really like start you know, commanding and, and solving stuff or where they kind of hang back. They'd have contributions, but I don't think that they would lead the charge. I'm okay with that answer. All right, I'm definitely covering Jack. Cover I think up I'm Drew. gonna cover Drew. Jessica would probably hang back. What about Chad? I feel like Chad might try and take charge, right? Let's cover him. All right, so right now we have Lindsay, Fredo, Andrew, and Jessica left on the board. I mean, am I allowed to just ask this person queer? <laughs> Why not? Uh, is this person queer? Yes. Okay, then. So then Trevor gets a definite, yeah. Trev's, and Trev's then, straight as I'm aware of, and uh, Barb's straight as I'm aware of. Lindsay's still a maybe, cause Lindsay's Lindsay's bi. Okay. All right, we got a bunch of them 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 queer folk on the board still. All right, mm. boys, would this person be able to name more than ten Pokemon? No. I don't. No, 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 I don't think so. All right, covering. Good question. Maybe one of my Alfredo favorite questions yet. Going to cover Lindsay. Wait, Lindsay so, doesn't know Pokemon? No, they wouldn't be able to name them. So we're covering uh, people yeah. who would. This, the, would. Anybody who knows Pokemon, you're covering. So that's why I'm leaving Jessica and Andrew. <laughs> I like how we're at the end of the game and Chris still doesn't understand the me mechanism of who to cover up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there someday. <laughs> <laughs> Round two on Rooster.com, you'll see Chris understand yeah. how the game works. So now <laughs> you guys have two left and we have two left, right? So yeah, it's a guessing game. It's whoever, if, if, if both of us theoretically have the people still on the board, it's now up to us just being able to guess who it is. Are you go, who goes it's first, us, It's us, it's us, so hush it. Blaine, it's up to you. Is it Fiona? No. Nope. Okay, your turn, don't say anything, Blaine. I think, uh, I think it's Andrew. I think, think it's Andrew as well. Yep. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> well, who's, who's, who's ours? Lindsay. Okay, Lindsay. Oh, damn! Shit. It was. Hey, Blaine, Fiona was my guess too. Did she, cause she, she didn't have a maybe on her. Yeah, you guys put the maybe on Lindsay for the going up to someone at a bar. I feel yeah. like Lindsay has a lot of balls. Like she could, she, I think she would do Lindsay it. Lindsay has this, uh, is constantly feeling awkward, but constantly moves past it with every action yep. she takes. I, and, and I was what I was gonna say about Lindsay is, I feel like she's someone who would go up and talk to someone that they're interested in, but not like be, Overly like no 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 we're not talking come about being on like hard. yeah just be she's friendly that's why yeah. I like Lindsay Lindsay I have way more like if it was if it was like a contest of me and Lindsay Lindsay be the one to go with someone at the end of the night 
Good job, Chris. High five. That was yeah. a close one. Are we high fiving in the game? Or oh, in where's your hand? Are you the blue hand? <laughs> I'm the blue hand. What, are you green? Now you're yeah. just you're just All stroking right. each other with pointed fingers. Okay, high five in the game and in real life. One, two, three. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. All right, that was fun. If you're watching this on YouTube, we're gonna play another round on Roosty.com. Just gonna call that out one more time. And if you're on Roosty.com, let's play another round. If you like that video, please hit the little bell icon and turn on notifications so you will be notified of all the other cool stuff we're making, like uh, this video where me and Blaine go back to school and take an actual college class and learn how to animate uh, our friends' faces. And yes, I said that all correctly. Go watch it right now. It's funny.